Hello guys, good afternoon. Uh, for today, uh, I'm gonna take video on rational exponents and radicals and what's the relationship between having uh, numbers or algebraic expressions having rational exponents. When I say rational, that's fractions, okay? The exponents and uh, are in fraction form, okay? Then then siya. Sorry, kasi uh, sobrang haba pa ng buho ko. Anyway, ayun siya. Uh, example, x raised to m, uh, n over m, okay? So, this one can be expressed to uh, yung m magiging uh, index siya, that means yung uh, ito sa labas, and then yung ex magiging exponent yung numerator, yung m which is denominator magiging index, yung numerator na n magiging exponent ng radicand which is inside ah, the radical sign. This is the radical sign, okay? So ganun siya. Lagi niyong tandaan si n which is the, uh, the numerator of the exponent will become the exponent of the radicand here, the base. And then the M, which is the denominator, will be uh, the index or outside, okay? So, and this one also can also be uh, X raised to N over M can also be, this can also be uh, expressed as XN raised to 1 all over M, okay? So, you can say it this way. Now, let's try to solve these examples using this uh, this process and this process. I don't know. Uh, kung saan, saan kayo com comfortable na isolve itong uh, mga ganitong problem sa test na maano nyo sa civil service, sa LET, or sa ELS, or sa NAPULCOM. So, let's try to do it this way. Now, uh, as you can see here, okay, so meron tayo dito uh, 9x4 uh, raised to, uh, 9x raised to 4 raised to 1 half, okay? So, this one will become uh, in the outside part. So, this is 2 and then 9x4 and then exponents are 1 there's no need to write anyway sa radicals actually we don't also write 2 here okay uh, we only write 2 starting from 3 4 5 6 okay or third cube root or fourth root fifth root sixth root okay like that now in this case we can say that uh um what's this express this so we can say square root of 9 we have to take it that like one by one square root of 9 that is 3 and then square root of x4 when it says square root Square, this is 2 here, i-divide nyo lang sa 2. Pag cube root siya, i-divide nyo sa 3. Since square root siya, uh, 2 dito, so 4 divided by 2, that's x squared. Just, that, that's it, okay? So that's the, the answer. Now, the other way, if we're gonna solve it this way, we have here uh, 9x4 raised to 1 half, okay? Now, we have to express each uh, of them in the exponential form. So, 9 is equal to 3 squared, and then uh, x 4 is, can be expressed in x squared 2, okay? And then 1 half. There you go. Now, and after that, we can just take out this 2 outside. So the remaining would be 3x squared. Take this one out. So we will have 2 times 1 half. 2 times 1 half, that is equal to 1. So this one just cancel to 1, 2. So we have the answer here, 3x squared, which is just the same, okay? I don't know where, uh, which process you are comfortable solving this kind of problem, but uh, as you can see here, uh, kung saan ang mas mabilis at makasave kayo ng time, uh, pwede nyo gamitin, okay? So, there we go. Next one, uh, negative 125 times uh, raised to 1 thirds, okay? So, this one again is outside. So, we have cube root of, cube root of negative 125 raised to 1, or just like negative 125 because we don't need to write 1 uh, anyway. So, this one, we can express this on cube root. We say cube root. Uh, we can have, uh, what's this? Manantiply natin yung isang base ng tatlong beses and ito yung sagot. So, what would that be? So, we have negative 5 cube, okay? And then, this is cube root, okay? Cube root of negative 5 cube. Negative 5 cube, that is negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. That gives you negative 125. And you can just cancel this one. The answer is negative 5, okay? There we go. Now, pag i express sa in this case, so we can have negative 125 is equal to negative 5 raised to 3 raised to 1 third. You can just cancel 3 and 3, so the answer is negative 5 also. Okay? So that is just the same. Next one, we have here 27 raised to negative 1 third. Now, negative, uh, if, you can, if you can go over my, my channel and, and this uh, YouTube, um, you can check my videos on rules. Uh, loss of exponents, okay? We have, uh, I think, I, I uploaded five videos. One video for each law, okay? So, you, ca you can just go over that below. Uh, there are lots, uh, there are, th th those videos are there, okay? Just go over them. Negative exponents, ang mangyayari dyan, 
take natin ng reciprocal, okay? So that means that's 27. To make it positive, 27 and raised to one third. That's it, okay? And then 1 all over, this one is equal to 1 all over cube root of 27. Cube root of 27, ano yung number na i-multiply natin ng tatlong beses that will give you 27? And that is equal to 1 all over uh, cube root of 3 cube. Okay? 3 cube cancel cube cube. So we have here 1 thirds. Okay? There you go. So remaining na lang si 3. Okay? Kasi kinansel na natin siya. Now what if uh, the other way around? So we can say that uh, negative, ah uh, no, no. 27 raised to 1 third is negative. This one is equal to 3 raised to 3. That is, 27 is equal to 3 raised to 3, or 3 times 3 times 3. And so this one is negative 1 third. Okay? Multiplying that, this is negative. Multiply natin the 3 times 1 is 3 divided by 3, that's negative 1. So we have 3 negative 1. And then negative exponents, we just take the reciprocal of that. So we have 1 third, which is just the same, 1 third. Okay? Next one, last number, we have here 32. 32 and then raised to 1 fifth. Same rule, we have here 5 because positive siya. Wala nang e e e reciprocal dito. So positive yung exponent dito, so 5 and then 32. And 32, that is equal to what is like, uh, what is that number? If you're going to multiply 5 times, that will give us 32. So that's 2. So we have here fifth root of 2 fifth. Okay, 2 fifth. 2 fifth, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, that's 8 times 2, that's 16 times 2, that's 32. Okay, cancel mo yung 5, 5 then, the, the answer is 2. Now, the other way around also, we have 32 and uh, 1 fifth, okay? So, 32 is equal to 2, 2 raised to 5, and then raised to 1 fifth, okay? 5 times 1 is equal to 5 divided by 5, that's 1. So, that is just 2 raised to 1 or just 2, okay? Just the same answer. Okay, that's how we do rational exponents, that's how we, uh, the basic, this is just basics. Uh, rational exp exponents and relationship between radicals and rational exponents, okay? So, I solved uh, these given word problems using radicals and using the exponents, okay? Or the laws of exponents. Try to go over my, uh, what's this, videos on laws of exponents uh, down below. You can just check there and then uh, learn the basics or like applications on how these laws of exponents, each of these laws of exponents are used and in solving word problems involving exponents, okay? So there you go, guys. I hope this video helped you a lot. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Good luck.